It's the start of a brand new year. And like every year, we're sure you have a resolution to eat healthier. Today, we're going to show you the delicious way of doing just that. Welcome to another episode of Meaty Masterclass, where we discuss all things meat with our in-house meat experts. I'm Chandni, and with me today is Chef Gurwanch, food philosopher and flavor alchemist here at Licious. So, Chef, what's your New Year's resolution? So, for me, you know, this whole last year, I've just been eating a lot of junk food, and that too at the wrong times, where I'd get these midnight cravings of having a pizza in the, you know, middle of the night, and then having the same thing for breakfast. <laughs> Cold so pizza. <laughs> so that's something I want to get rid of, that bad habit of mine. So this year, my plan is to eat better. And what do you mean by eating better? So for me, eating better doesn't mean stopping all my favorite foods and not eating what I love. So I believe in balance and I think that we should have everything but in moderation. And so, you know, I still do enjoy, I mean, still want to enjoy my favorite dishes like a tangri kebab or a chicken tikka from time to time. But then I'll want to try to eat more lean protein every day other than these heavy meats. What do you mean by lean protein? So, lean protein is uh, meat which does not have a lot of uh, saturated fat or fat altogether. And um, so, when it comes to meat, there are even in, so for example, say chicken, there are parts of the bird where the meat is fattier than compared to the other parts. So you just have to be a little smart in terms of using which part you, I mean, which part of the bird or which part of your lamb you want for which dish. And um, you know, even though we all would love extra fat in our, you know, mutton curries and all all the lamb patties and everything, but that sadly you can't have a chicken biryani or a mutton biryani every day. So you can choose leaner cuts as your everyday uh, everyday meal dishes and otherwise too on a special day you can always go back to the nice fattier meat cuts. So does that mean I don't need to stop eating meat to be healthier? Not at all. It's a big misconception you know where everybody thinks that you need to stop eating meat to get more healthier but that's completely untrue. So you just when you're choosing leaner cuts of meat, you're getting the benefit of the protein without the extra fat in your dish. So, Chef, could you give us a few examples of lean meat? Yes, so I have some, some of my favorite lean meat cuts from Licious right here. And uh, so we'll start off with chicken. Chicken has white and dark meat. And when you say white meat, that is the leaner meat and darker meat would be the, the legs or the thigh of the bird which usually has a lot more fat and is not as healthy as the breast as you, since we are talking about lesser fat. And um, so the dark meat uh, is always good for, you know, making your uh, tikkas and curries and stuff, but even a chicken breast can do a good, great job with both. Only thing is you just need to cook it perfectly. And this for me is like my all time favorite, the skinless chicken breast. And uh, what are these other two cuts? So this one is the chicken supreme. So this is actually a fillet or a tender of meat right below the chicken breast in the bird. And this in fact is one of the most tastiest part of the chicken where you know you've got your uh, the maximum flavor as well. Only trick is it tends to go dry really fast and it kind of you know, cooks within a minute. So a lot of people don't really know how to cook it. Got it. And uh, this one here are the chicken mini bites. So this is again chicken breast, but we've cut them up for everybody to, you know, easily be able to cook with, maybe toss it up in a salad or some pasta or just make an appetizer out of it. What about mutton? I know red meat isn't exactly lean. Um, yes, you're right. Red meat actually isn't a lean meat. But uh, we here at Licious kind of have a way of making it lean where we cut off the fat or trim the fat off. So here we've got two cuts of goat. So over here is the lean goat curry cut and we've got the rich goat curry, biryani cut as well. So the difference that I wanted to show was this. This is the fat that you see around the, the, the pieces over here. So that is actually the fat that makes your meat a lot more richer and I know flavorful as well but if you are you know looking to eat something healthy we've trimmed off the fat out of this one and 
So finally, when you'll cook your dish, the layer of fat that usually comes up on a mutton dish would be much lesser uh, in comparison when you cook it with this meat. So now that we've covered a few examples of lean cuts of meat, could you give us a few tips on how to cook it? I really don't want to boil chicken every day. Why would you want to boil it? It's already lean meat. So That's what I've learned. <laughs> so you know, it is. This is like a big, big uh, confusion that healthy means boil your meat and eat it. You can even pan sear it. You can grill it. The idea here is to use as less amount of fat as you would want, but uh, keeping. the chicken still tasty and that will only happen if you marinate the chicken really well so especially in the leaner cuts marination is even more important because that kind of tends to make your uh, juices of the marinade get in and your chicken kind of stays softer for longer but uh, otherwise you can also there are other cooking ways you can steam your chicken you can uh, for that matter steaming works really well with seafood as well but even chicken goes really good you can make like a uh, you know like a poached chicken salad as well so it's not necessarily just boiling it with salt and eating it like that so there are a lot of other ways that you could you know just make it much better and tastier okay so here we've got a pre marinated chicken breast ready So again, so the marinade is the most important part. So this has been marinating for almost four to five hours now, and uh, it's a very simple marinade, very healthy. It's a soy and a garlic-based marinade that we have done here, and all we'll have to do is just simply pan sear it. Just this much oil is enough if you're using a good non-stick pan. So another very important tip that I have while cooking chicken is. the amount of time that you cook the chicken for because since it's a leaner meat it will tend to get drier faster so it is really important that you don't cook it for really long because that's when all the moisture from the chicken would come out and Got it will become very dry so we'll keep adding the marinade little by little as it's cooking will that also help it not turn dry and stringy exactly yes so that will help in two things because since you're just pan searing it with very less fat so what that will do to the chicken is it'll moisten the chicken as well since it's got a lot of water in it yeah. and also it will again not let it overcook so here we're just adding a little bit more marinade so chef how long are you going to cook this chicken breast for Three three minutes on each side. I think that will just be perfect for the chicken breast to cook on a medium heat. But uh, a lot of people don't want a crust, so you all can even lower the heat to maybe a very low or a little more than just minimum simming. So that kind of makes the chicken breast also not have a crust and be soft as well. So I'm also going to be covering a lid, covering the chicken with a lid because that also helps. Our chicken to stay moist where the moisture isn't all evaporating away. That's a hot tip. <laughs> yes. You see all the moisture. Yeah. It's going to go back to the chicken now. Let's just quickly flip it. Wow! What wow. beautiful crust. That looks awesome. So that would be a tender, right? Yes, this is the supreme now, which is nice. Coming out the tender. Okay, and our chicken's now ready. That looks so yummy, chef. Can we eat it now? No, actually, we should give it a good five-minute rest so that all the juices kind of come back together and it don't seep out as soon as we if we cut it right now. Okay, fine. While we wait, um, do you have any tips for cooking lean cuts of mutton? Um, for mutton. I would say that maybe marination is a very important uh, step again like how I said for the chicken as well but otherwise you can just cook mutton like how you would cook a fattier uh, mutton curry cut or whichever whatever you are making mm -hmm. only the difference will be that you know the amount of fat that will float up after the gravy is cooked will be much lesser but um, the chef in me wants to say that add a little bit ghee but I'm not going to say that <laughs> Otherwise, yes, that's the only thing that I would say about mutton. Thank you so much for that, Chef. I'm so excited to start cooking with lean meats, and I hope you are too. 
Do let us know in the comments if you try out these tips and give this video a thumbs up to see more from us here at Licious. Stay tuned for part 2 of Lean Meats coming up next week where we cover seafood. Until then, thank you so much for watching Meaty Masterclass. Bye. Yeah, I'm just going to eat this recipe. Mm. I'm sure so.